Hi friends, here in this video we will discuss about capacitors, their uses, their types and their different kinds we are using in electronics. What is a capacitor? Basically a capacitor is formed from two conducting plates separated by a thin insulating layer. There are different types of capacitors that are manufactured in many forms, styles and materials. Understanding the basics of them helps you to choose the capacitor for your application. Before going to each of them, let us understand the basic uses of a capacitor in a circuit. Capacitors are widely used in electrical and electronic circuits. In electronic circuits, small value capacitors are used to couple signals between stages of amplifiers as components of electric filter and tuned circuits as parts of power supply systems to smooth rectified current. In electrical circuits large value capacitors are used for energy storage in such applications as strobe lights. As parts of some types of electrical motors like single phase induction motor capacitor is used for phase split. For power factor correction in AC power distribution system power capacitors are used. Standard capacitors have a fixed value of capacitance but adjustable capacitors are frequently used in tuned circuits and radio applications. Now we will discuss about the types of capacitors. So here type of capacitors there are different types of capacitors and how they are classified we will discuss here also in this section you can find out how these capacitors got their name we will call them now generally capacitors are divided into two common groups fixed fixed capacitors fixed capacitors variable capacitors Fixed capacitors are those capacitors with fixed capacitance value, while variable capacitors have the variable trimmer or adjustable tunable capacitance values. Out of these, the most important group is fixed capacitors. So here we will discuss fixed capacitors as fixed capacitors are very commonly used in electronics and electrical circuits. So the important types of fixed capacitors are here as ceramic capacitors, film and paper capacitors, aluminium tantalum and niobium electrolytic capacitors, polymer capacitors, super capacitors or ultra capacitors, silver, mica, glass, silicon, air gap and vacuum capacitors. Many capacitors got their names from the dielectric used in them but this is not true for all capacitors because some old electrolytic capacitors are named by their cathode construction. So the most used names are simply historical. Fixed capacitors include polarized and non-polarized. Ceramic and film capacitors are examples of non-polarized capacitors. Electrolytic and super capacitors or ultra capacitors are included in the group of polarized capacitors. The complete classification of fixed capacitors is shown hereby. In addition to the capacitors type which derived their names from historical development there are many individual capacitors that have been named based on their application. The capacitors that are derived their names based on their application includes the following power capacitors, motor capacitors, DC link capacitors, suppression capacitors, audio crossover capacitors, lighting blast capacitors, snowbar capacitors, coupling decoupling or bypassing capacitors. Often more than one capacitor family is employed for these applications. For example, 
interface suppression can use ceramic capacitors or film capacitors. Overview of different types of capacitors. As we explained before, there are many different types of capacitors that can be used. If you know the basic characteristics of each type, each type of capacitor, you can easily pick a capacitor for your project to make uh, your job easy. The major types of capacitors are outlined here. The first one is ceramic capacitor. The ceramic capacitor is a type of capacitor that is used in many applications from audio to RF or radio frequency. Values of ceramic capacitor range from a few micro picofarad to around 0.1 microfarads. Ceramic capacitor types are by far the more commonly used type of capacitor being cheap and reliable their loss factor is particularly low although this is dependent on the exact dielectric in use. In view of their constructional properties these capacitors are widely used both in leaded and surface mount formats. Electrolytic capacitor. Electrolytic capacitors are a type of capacitor that is a polarized. They are able to offer high capacitance value typically above 1 microfarad. These capacitors are most widely used for low frequency applications. Power supplies, decoupling and audio coupling applications as they have a frequency limit of around 100 kilohertz. Tantalum capacitor the other type is tantalum capacitor. Like electrolytic capacitors, tantalum capacitors are also polarized and offer a very high capacitance level for their volume. However, this type of capacitor is very intolerant for being reversely biased, often exploding when placed under stress. This type of capacitor must also not be subjected to high ripple current or voltages above their working voltage range. They are available in both leaded and surface mount formats. The fourth one is silver mica capacitor. Silver mica capacitors are not as widely used as these days, but they still offer very high level of stability, low pass and accuracy where space is not an issue. They are primarily used for RF applications and they are limited to maximum value of 1000 picofarad or so. Polystrain film capacitors. The fifth one is the polystrain capacitors are a relatively cheap capacitor but offer a close tolerance capacitor where needed. They are tubular in shape resulting from the fact that the plate the electric sandwich is rolled together. This adds inductance limiting their frequency response to a few hundred kilohertz. They are generally only available as leaded electronic components. Polyester film capacitors. Polyester film capacitors are used where cost is a consideration as they do not offer a high tolerance. Many polyester film capacitors have a tolerance of 5% or 10% which is adequate for many applications. They are generally only available as leaded electronic components. Number seventh is metallized polyester film capacitor. This type of capacitor is essentially a form of polyester film capacitor where the polyester films themselves are metallized. The advantage of using this process is that because their electrodes are thin, the overall capacitor can be contained within a relatively small package. The metallized polyester film capacitors are generally only available as leaded electronic components. Polycarbonate capacitor. 
the polycarbonate capacitors have been used in application where reliability and performance are critical it enables us to make high tolerance capacitors these capacitors will hold their capacitance value over time in addition they have a low dissipation factor and they remain stable over a wide temperature range many being specified from minus 55 degrees celsius to plus 125 degrees celsius however the manufacture of polycarbonate dielectric has ceased and their production is now very limited number 9th is polypropylene capacitor the polypropylene capacitor is sometimes used when a high tolerance type of capacitor is necessary then polyester capacitor offer as the name implies this capacitor uses a polypropylene film for the dielectric one of the advantage of the capacitor is that there is very little chance of capacitance with time and voltage applied this type of capacitor is also used for low frequencies usually with 100 kilohertz or so being the upper limit they are generally only available as leaded electronic components number 10th is glass capacitors as the name implies this capacitor type uses glass as dielectric glass capacitors are generally expensive although expensive these capacitors offer very high level of performance in terms of extremely low loss high rf current capability no piezoelectric noise and other features these features make them ideal for many performance rf applications number 11th is super capacitor or super cap super cap or super capacitor is also known as super capacitor or ultra capacitor as the name implies these capacitors have very large value of capacitance of up to several thousand farads but unfortunately they have very limited voltage value from 2.5 to some 3 volt per capacitor super caps finds uses for providing a memory hold up supply and also within automotive applications also super caps are nowadays used to form batteries the other type is variable capacitor variable capacitor is the combination of fixed and moving plates moving plates are connected to a rotor are moving in between the fixed plates and they provide a variable capacitance such capacitors are used in radio application for tuning circuits trimmer capacitors this is another type of variable capacitor which is small in size and they have different colors they are coming in many different colors and the colors are showing their capacitance they are in low capacity range from 10 picofarad to 70 picofarad depending on their size and color code so such capacitors are used in rf circuits for tuning and adjustment purposes so hope friends you people have learned something from this video if you learned something from this video give a big thumbs up to this video and subscribe on my channel press on bell icon so you will get notifications for each upload thank you for watching